Howdy folks, Andy Train here with Interbark Outdoors to do a review on the Tex Creek XL. The Tex Creek XL is the second in the line of the Tex Creek knives made by Tops. And basically what it does, it takes the, the same handle as a Tex Creek and just gives it a very uh, big blade. So this is something that you would really like to take on your next elk hunt or your moose hunt because the big blade really helps with uh, cutting through the big pieces of meat, uh, taking out those big hides or cutting through the sternum. And so this is something that uh, people, you know, hunting in the northern states are really going to enjoy. The Tex Creek XL measures in with an overall length of 11 and 1 8 inches. And the blade itself weighs in at 9.5 ounces. The blade is 6 and 1 8 inches and has a clip point and is coated with the proprietary Black River wash which integrates clear Cerakote in the finish. The handle's black canvas McCartan has a large hollow rivet for a lanyard and has a nice red liner for an artistic touch. The handle and the blade have a little bit of jimping to add a little bit better grip when things get slick, whether that be from sweat, blood, or some fat from the kill. Overall, the fit, feel, and finish of this package is up to par with all the other top snipes that I've had. A full grain leather sheath comes standard. The retention is by friction, meaning there's no actual device to keep the blade from coming out of the sheath but because the sheath covers up half the handle, losing it's unlikely unless you're doing some pretty rough activity. My only gripe with the sheath is that the belt loop is not quite big enough to handle my pistol belt, which I like to wear a lot. Unfortunately, it is not hunting season, uh, but I do a lot of survival and bushcraft stuff, so I'm gonna try and get a fire going with this knife here in the Pacific Northwest while it's raining and after basically four days of constant rain. And after that, I'm gonna go on the east side of the mountains here in Washington State to go on a bow fishing trip. Despite the lightweight and the non-angled handle geometry, the Tex Creek XL handled chopping pretty well. I found that I wanted to give a backseat grip, and with the jimping that's on the back of the handle, this really helped keep the knife in my hand. Chopping with this knife isn't bad, especially considering that it's a hunting knife first. Splitting isn't bad either for smaller diameter wood. The 3 16 inch steel helps split the wood versus getting wedged in there like thinner knives. I'd imagine this knife would do pretty good for wood up to 4 inches in diameter. Feather sticking is where this knife really kicked in. The higher grind angle on the 316 steel makes this a really good carving angle. For field work, the Tex Creek XL does a fine job, especially for the medium to large size tasks. While it isn't designed for chopping, it did pretty well, but it really excelled at things that required fine motor skills. A mile and a half stroll through the eastern Washington desert brings me to a cool spot to bowfish. This area is in private land so I can't tell you where the location is, but the fishing's pretty good.
The heft to the blade makes a good snap cut to sever the spinal column, and also to do a gladiator finish. The long blade made it easy to cut the gills, and while this isn't a fillet knife, it's sensitive enough to feel the rib bones to get as much of the meat off the fish as possible. When skinning fish like carp, you want to leave the dark meat since it ruins the taste of filet. So for this application, there wasn't much waste because it had to leave that on the skin. But if you decided to skin a fish and didn't have any dark meat to take off, there would be some waste. Alright, so that is the Tex Creek XL made by Topps Knives. This is a badass little knife. Or, it's not really a little, is it? It's pretty big. But uh, yeah, go check that out. Also check out my Facebook page at Innerbark and other social media. Helps me know that uh, you guys enjoyed these videos and you want to see more. But as always, take care out there, bye. The higher efficiency of wood stoves compared to cooking over a campfire makes it a lot cleaner to use and cooking temperatures are a lot easier to control. And because there are less parts to a wood stove, they are a lot harder to break.